Hello and welcome to another segment with the Nairobi Hospital. Today we're joined by Joyce Mbetha, Acting Principal at the Cicely McDonnell College of Health Sciences. Karibu sana. Thank you, Madame. So I'd like you to take us, tell us more about the College of Health Sciences. Okay. Mm. Thank you. Um, the college was first established in 1956. The hospital was established in 1954. Um, this, this was followed by the college being established when it was realized that we needed nurses who were um, trained. And so um, it was first established and most of the students then were from um, a white population. And um, then we had a few Africans then. Um, but this went on until um, 1992 when we um, had our first, 94, when we had the first male students and two or five, we had um, um, first post basic training. I'll talk about that later. Um, all this time we were known as um, Cecily McDonald School of Nursing, but then the name changed in 2015 mm -hmm. to College of Health Sciences. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the qualifications one needs to join the college? This depends on which program you're pursuing. Our program is regulated by the Nursing Council of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And so they give us the, the, the qualifications mm -hmm. and the criteria that one needs. So a child needs to, a student needs to have done their KCSC um, and scored at least a C. Um, biology is um, uh, the center of it, so you must have scored a C in biology. English, must, it must be a C. And one other science subject, could be maths, could be chemistry. Um, could be physics, mm -hmm. uh, at least you must have gotten a C minus, but that is for the basic. Mm -hmm. Then we have the post basic. Um, you need to have um, be a Kenya registered nurse, or um, you need to have, or to be a Kenya registered um, um, uh, community health nurse, or you need to have to be a, a, a bachelor, to have gotten your bachelor's or bachelor of science in nursing. And so you need to have trained, uh, to have worked mm -hmm. for at least a year or two. These are council requirements. Mm -hmm. um, so that now you, are, you, you qualify to come and join uh, post-basic mm -hmm. um, courses. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is your current uh, student population? Um, currently, we have a total of 287. Of this number, 108, um, 186. Uh, the, the Kenya registered nursing students, mm -hmm. the basic, and then the rest, um, I think it's 77, are the post-basic um, students. And um, one thing that I'd like to mention at this point, that we get our students not just from within our borders, we also get our students from outside mm -hmm. our borders. Mm -hmm. We have students from um, within the East African region, uh, we've just had a group qualify from Tanzania. We also um, have students from Rwanda. We also have um, students currently from West Africa, mm -hmm. uh, particularly Nigeria. We also have students from um, South Africa. You also have scholarships yeah. that you do offer to the students. Mm -hmm. How does one get to access or benefit from it? Okay. Now, what happens... <coughs> is that we work, we partner with organizations that are, we approach. Mm -hmm. For instance, we have what we call the LEAP program. LEAP program means Lending um, for Education, um, the Ace of African Partnerships. It is a program, it's a fund that, um, that um, is accessible to our students where they can loan, they can get loans, student loans, mm -hmm. which now they'll pay back. Mm -hmm. um, we also have, um, Johnson & Johnson um, through AMREF Africa mm -hmm. that support our, uh, one of our post-basic studies. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had help in the past, but now we are doing a proposal so that they can come in a, a bigger way mm -hmm. to support our students. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the onset of COVID-19, yeah. so many things changed and mm -hmm. one of them is your teaching modalities. Yes. So what are some of the 
programs or other aspects that you have uh, picked up in uh, ensuring continuity in learning. Okay. Thank you. Now, one of the things that I probably want to mention at this point, mm -hmm. that uh, during the peak of the COVID-19 last year, we were among the few colleges that did actually um, admit students in September. You remember September things were still mm -hmm. not okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we adapted the virtual mode of um, teaching the students until uh, when, thing, when we were now allowed to, for students to, to, to come to college, uh, it was around January, we, uh, they did come um, now to, to, be taught, to be taught physically. Mm -hmm. Especially for theory, uh, we are able to do both online and physical. Um, um, but when it comes to clinical practice in the clinical area, then we had to wait until uh, things had abated a little. Then now they were able to go to the mm -hmm. uh, clinical areas. Mm -hmm. Yes. What are some of the facilities available at this College of Health Science? Um, other than what we have within the environs of the college, um, which includes our um, very um, good and very um, state-of-the-art library, um, we have um, very um, spacious and large lecture theatres. We have a very good auditorium that we also use um, for our studies. And this also, one of the things it does is that we are able to observe the Ministry of Health WHO um, program in terms of um, the COVID prevention program, we are able to uh, social distance very, very well. Mm -hmm. But that is within the college. Mm -hmm. Then for clinical practice, we are using our own hospital um, for most of it. Mm -hmm. um, so most of our students, they get their basic, their training, um, both basic and post basic, basic in our hospital. Mm -hmm. We also, um, we partner with institutions like Kenyatta where our students go for specialized training, um, a, a clinical practice. We also partner with institutions like Madare, um, Teaching and Referral Hospital, that is a mental and psychiatric hospital. Mm. We also work with the Na Nairobi Metropolitan um, Services, where we take our students to their, um, their, their clinics. So right now, we're working towards developing an MOU um, with the uh, Kenyatta University, a teaching and referral hospital, um, where we can also uh, send our students to. Mm -hmm. Yes. When is the next intake? Uh, we do have two intakes a year. So we've just had one. We just had our last one in April, where we got uh, um, a number of students. So the next intake will be in September. And currently, applications are ongoing. Mm -hmm. And we are hoping to do, we are shortlisting, um, and we're hoping to do our interviews in July. Mm -hmm. yep. So our next intake will be in September. On the application data? Eh? Yes. Do you do it virtually, or you come physically to the hospital to do your applications? We have the walk-in who, who have not gone to our websites and seen um, um, the, that we can actually apply mm -hmm. online. Um, but most of the time we'd advise that uh, when somebody calls and there are those who send their emails and they communicate, I tell them to go to our website, uh, read about our requirements. If they meet our requirements, then we have our application forms, then they can go ahead and apply. Mm -hmm. But then we also have those ones who walk in and we also give them that service. Mm -hmm. So we do both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, probably just to mention that um, as a college, as an institution. If you look at our brochures mm -hmm. and you look at our advert, we say that um, the employability of our graduates is about 99%. And this is true. Um, because once they graduate, the, we not only absorb them ourselves, but they are taken up immediately by the other institutions around us. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the reasons why, somebody, one would ask why are you always having uh, those vacancies, it's because they work for two, three years and they're taken or they go elsewhere mm. because they are, uh, we believe they're that good. And so um, once they graduate, like the ones who are going to graduate soon, they will all be absorbed in, within the hospital. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much. Yes. Mm. Applications are ongoing for the September intake until the 12th of July. For more details, visit the Nairobi Hospital website. I've been your host, Mudoni Wawero.